I'm your host, TJ Birkin. Welcome to the very first edition of Jug Showdown, where USTrotting.com and Hoofbeats Magazine will ask you, harness racing fans from all corners of the internet, to pick who you think was the greatest jug horse ever. This week's matchup is between 1955 winner, Quick Chief, and 1997 champion, Western Dreamer. Quick Chief won the ninth edition of the Little Brown Jug in dominating fashion, giving Billy Houghton his first, and perhaps the easiest, of his five Little Brown Jug wins. In the first heat, Quick Chief went wire to wire in two minutes and one fifth, just one fifth of a second off of the world record set in the 1951 Jug by Tar Heel. In the second heat, Quick Chief and Houghton watched from the sidelines as the fabulous Philly Dottie's pick and Delvin Miller won the second heat in two minutes, smashing the previous world record for Phillies of 2-1 and 2. In the race-off, the anticipated matchup between Quick Chief and Dottie's pick never materialized, however, as Quick Chief went wire to wire in two minutes and two fifths. Dottie's pick did get cover, however, but could not mount an offensive against Quick Chief as he powered home in 29 seconds to become the first Colt Pacer to win over $100,000. Fast forward 42 years to 1997 winner, Western Dreamer. This son of Western Hanover and driver Mike Lachance won the second of three eliminations in 152. In the final, Western Dreamer got away second as the Wiz, runner-up in the second elimination, went to the lead. Lachance pulled Western Dreamer and the pair reached the quarter on top in 26-2. As they reached the half in 55-3, Gothic Dream mounted the first over challenge. Then, at the three quarters in 123 and 3, Arturo made a three wide bid. But they were no match for Western Dreamer as he powered away to win by a widening five lengths in 151 and 1, setting a world record for Geldings and with just one fifth of a second off of the world record for Colt set by Falcon Sealster in 1985. Western Dreamer went on to win the 1997 Triple Crown, but remember, Vote for who you think put up the best and most dominating jug performance on Little Brown Jug Day. The polls close on May 28th, so vote now.